The challenge was great in this study, comparing directly with the, the best in, in class uh, or the best in this circumstance. There is a clear trend towards superiority for irubulin. The, the curves do uh, distinctly separate, but that doesn't cross the threshold for statistical, uh, statistical significance. So in statistical terms, it's a negative study. But I think for oncologists and potentially for patients as well, uh, we see the curves separate and it's intriguing then to look and see why they separate and whether there are particular patients who may gain, uh, especially from, this, uh, from the irubulin. And when we looked at the subgroups, it looked as though the HER2 positive patients appeared not to benefit. They appeared to do just as well whether they had a ribulin or capecitabine. And that's maybe uh, not too surprising with the benefit of hindsight because the main focus of treatment uh, in HER2 positive breast cancer is with Herceptin, uh, Trastuzumab, with Pertuzumab, uh, Lepatinib and other similar specifically HER2 targeted agents. But if we look at the other patients, those with ER negative disease, those with HER2 negative disease, and in particular those with triple negative disease, in that group of patients, they did appear to benefit substantially. Now we can't do a formal statistical analysis, but there certainly were strong hints that those patients were benefiting from irubulin rather than capecitabine.